Hello and welcome, Craig Thompson, the Booze Hunter with Impromptu Wine Review. Today's wine, ah, uh, I've been a huge fan, huge fan of this particular wine, of the producer actually, and this particular wine. I've tried some other varieties from this producer. So the producer and the wine, and that is Alio Altare Barbera di Elba 2014. Look at that in all its glory on your screen. Um, yeah, look, this is actually one of the first Barberas I tried was from Elio Altare and, uh, many years ago and it got me in to Barbera and, uh, you know, sort of, I generally try something I like and then I'll try 30 wines of that variety, you know, particularly from the, the region as well, you know, Barbera or Elba is renowned for Barbera. So, you know, try a lot of Barbera di Elbas and, uh, but I just keep coming back to this one. I just, you know, it's this style of Barbera I really enjoy. And that might just be me. It's probably not. Uh, it's probably a, a vast group of people, but it won't be everyone. Um, that may be just me. But uh, look, I'll preface my sniffing and drinking by saying I love the wine. There's no, no other way about it. And uh, I opened this last night. Really, really enjoyed it. I've poured a little bit now. Do you define that as a little bit? I poured a bit now um, to do this review, and it's uh, it's actually held really tight from last night. It's uh, exactly the same tasting notes, pretty much as, as what I put down last night. So um, we'll be fine over two, three days, and probably fine in the cellar for a few years as well. So let's have a look. This uh, particular Barbera, five months in old oak, and it comes to us right now. Ah. Oh. One more thing, you thought I was about to smell it, didn't you? Uh, one more thing is that Barbera, I don't have a Barbera glass, but I tried this out of the Barbera glass, a regular tasting glass, the bigger ones that you'll get at Celadors, and a Pinot glass, and went for the Cabernet Sauvignon. So if you've got one, looks good, I think. And the first thing to really uh, strike me when I stuck my nose in this, even last night, is this, like, wow, it smells Italian. There's something about Italian reds from sort of northern Italy up that they just smell. It's, for me, what means Italian red. And this wine's just got it in spades, and it takes me back to my time in Turin and Piemonte and Barolo. Um, not far. Actually, some of the vineyards may even come into Barolo from where, where this is grown. Same region, beautiful area. It just takes, takes you straight back there. No wonder I love it. There's something in that, actually. Anyway, and what is that? What is that, a sm that I smell that reminds me of Italian wine? So there's thyme, there's clove, uh, there's yeah, some star anise, the fruits, cherry, sour cherry, pomegranate, uh, there's raspberry. It's got some beautiful lift. It's got life. It's savory but fresh. Uh, beautiful nose. That, for me, reminds me of Italian wines. Which is good because it is an Italian wine. Just delicious, man. I can, honestly, a few friends over, grab a dozen of these, a few friends, kick back, and yeah, just great conversation, great food, and just roll on with this wine. Do I like it? Can you tell? Look, in the mouth, it's both, it's mouth filling, but only medium bodied. It's uh, fruity yet savory. It's got um, balance and length. There's a slightly medicinal quality to it. I didn't see it when I poured it earlier. I noted it last night, uh, the sort of minty, fresh mint on the nose. And you can see that a bit on the palate, but it's just, it's awesome. It's a really beautiful wine. And I love this style of Barbera. I might've already mentioned that. Um, Tuck in and get into it. I should say no more. All right. Peace. Stay awesome. The Elio Altare Barbarity Alba Booze Hunter. Enjoy. <laughs> 